Hello everybody, this is Giga Titan here for the 164th Pokemon Wi-Fi match. And I'm continuing all the challenges that I uh, got last night, so if you uh, want to challenge me, then you guys are going to have to wait because uh, I still have at least 30 challenges to do until I can get to you guys. Sorry, it's just, you know, priority and everything, so. This is versus uh, Pale Master 1, 2, 3. And uh, he has uh, some very annoying Pokemon, namely the Bullet Punch Scizor, which I've seen over and over again everywhere. But uh, yeah, it is really a real pain in this battle. But anyways, uh, I'm using uh, an old Pokemon I had, uh, Uton Bomb, uh, that I made for Uton like forever ago, but never actually traded it to him. But it is a really good Cloyster, and it has a Choice Scarf on it. So it's, oh wait, no, it doesn't have a choice scarf, my bad. But, um, yeah, it is, you know, really awesome, though, because it's very, very useful for setting up toxic spikes. But, uh, Chowdot uses Hyper Voice and does a lot of damage to Shur, or Shurax, or whatever, and actually doesn't knock out Houndoom, which I was like, really? Really? And then Chowdot gets badly poisoned, and I get off the toxic spikes, so I have, uh, toxic poison spikes, so... It's really going to do a, da a lot of damage to their team. So, uh, anyways, uh, it's Houndoom restores HP with leftovers. So I decide I have to switch to somebody. I think I switched into Swallow here. I'm not sure. Oh, no, I switched into Magnezone. And uh, so I have Magnezone out yet now. And uh, so I think I switch out to Doug Trio here uh, so I can avoid uh, hitting my own guy. So I switch out. Uton Bombs and then Doug Trio to avoid uh, discharge damage. And uh, Shurzox gets bullet punched for some reason. Uh, uh, you know, I was like, really, why'd you attack them? But, you know, whatever. So I lose Doug Trio by uh, bullet punch. You know, I hate bullet punch scissors. I think they're extremely overused and everyone has them and they're very annoying, but, you know, part of the game. So you just gotta deal with it. So, um,. Anyway, so I do take down both of their, uh, a Pokemon, a Pokemon, what's an, a Pokemon, whatever. Um, they send out a Salamence, I send out Swellow, and then they send out, uh, I think a, yeah, Spirit Tomb here. So, pretty much all of my worst nightmares are here, all my guys I hate. So, uh, Salamence is Intimidate, uh, messes up Swellow's, you know, Reign of Terror, because now it's not going to be able to do very much. So that sucks. So I think I go for a U-turn here just to get him, get some damage and get out of there. Uh, actually, no, I do go for a protect right there. And uh, so Magnezone discharges and does a lot of damage. Uh, doesn't knock out Salamence, but uh, does do about half HP to it. Doesn't do very much Spirit Team. Uh, they double edge on Swallow, but I protected and also they use Will Wisp to try to you know mess it up before it can get the Toxic Orb. But you know. And they had well wisped it would actually help me a little bit, so you know. But it didn't really matter too much there, but anyways, uh Magazone's still fresh right there. He hasn't taken any damage yet, which is great. Spiritum's poison. The toxic poison I must say. That's very, very powerful. And uh Swallow's chilling right there. He's a little up guy, how you doing? And uh so Spiritum uses sucker punch on Magazone, do some damage, doesn't do very much. And I go ahead and I U turn here, get him out of there, get rid of that, intimidate doesn't do very much though switch out and uh, I think I send in shame in here I'm pretty sure I do yeah I send in shame in because it can take a discharge pretty well mag zone discharges and it does barely anything to shame in and I do get a critical right here on Salamence but usually the second attack always seems to do more damage but I don't really know so you know I got a little I got lucky there but uh, so spirit tomb is barely hanging on for dear life uh, right there, was like, mm, this isn't good, because you know they send out a pincer now, so I'm like, oh goodness gracious, what are they gonna do? Because it can have X scissors, which can destroy Shaman. It can have submission, we can kill Magnezone. So, you know, who knows what's gonna happen? All right, so um, this took a lot of planning for me because I decided to switch out Magnezone for Cloyster. Because I know it can take uh, any kind of hit that Pinsir can throw at it. So I switch out to Uton Bomb 
which is an amazing defensive Pokemon, and I Zen Headbutt Pinsir and uh, do a little more than half HP. And then Pinsir uses Submission, as I thought, on Magnus. Well, who was going to use it on Magnus, but uses it on Uton Bomb. Doesn't do anything. And uh, unfortunately, Spirit Gym's Will Wisp miss, but um, judging on how the rest of the battle went, I don't think it would have affected it very much. Maybe just a little bit, but I think I still would have uh, been able to do okay. So they send out Mamutel, which is a Mamo Swine. Swine. Like, you know, swine flu. I'm surprised they didn't name it swine flu. <laughs> Everyone's naming their mammal swine swine flu now. Um, so, Shaman uses Seed Bomb and does tons of damage to Mammy Soul and knocks it out in one hit. Uh, Will Wisp probably would have prevented that, but I don't even know who it was targeted. It could have been for Utah Bomb, prevent it to explode or anything. Pinzer uses Guillotine, just a last ditch move. Uh, misses, though, because, you know, it's not accurate. So,. Pinsir eventually gets knocked out by poison, so thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe if you like this, and I'll see you guys for the next video up today. Peace out.